yo, listen up. I was here talking to a BYU of you student, Shani Balda, and a well-known rapper, Jessica Simpson, about- My name is Jenica Simpson. Yo, well, ain't that like the same thing with just like, a couple letters switched around? Yeah, I guess so. Yo, so, shut up. We is talking about the freedom of speech. It's well important, isn't it? Okay, so does deaf people still have the freedom of speech even though they can't really talk? Well, yes. Even though deaf people aren't speaking, they're still using a language which is a form of communication. Um, many times when discussing the freedom of speech, people are really talking about the freedom of expression. Um, the Constitution of the United States says in the First Amendment that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging uh, the freedom of speech or of the press. So that implies that the freedom of expression is ensured to all individuals who are citizens of the United States. Okay, so about that constitution thing, like why was it written on the two stone tablet things? Uh, no, you're thinking about Moses and the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments and the Constitution are two completely different documents. What? Like, so what part did Moses play in writing the Constitution. Okay, so even though the deaf people can't talk, they still has the freedom of speech? Yes, like I said, all people that are citizens have this freedom. All right, so this one time, me cat like, came up to me and I could tell he was trying to say something well important, and so I just look at him and I'm like, yo, shut up, is that illegal? Well, your cat isn't a human. Whoa, come on, me cat was a human. No, I think you're mistaken. Well, he had human feelings, like, it was sad sometimes. All right, so, we has already talked about the thing called the first um, man immigrant, but what is the fifth immigrant? What does that have to do with the freedom of speech? Well, it's called the Fifth Amendment, not immigrant. Well, whatever. You says tomato, I says potato. Whatever. Well, okay. Well, the Fifth Amendment gives us the right to remain silent. This is important because sometimes, in some situations, you need the freedom of speech. But other times, for that freedom to be protected, you need to have the right to remain silent and not have any consequences come of that. Many times, this freedom is used in a courtroom situation. Okay, so uh, what is the Supreme Court? Um, well, the Federal Supreme Court it is the United States' highest court in the judicial system. It has the most power and is able to make rulings on very important issues, many of which deal with the freedom of speech. Uh, so why is it called the Supreme Court? Um, because it's the court that has the most power. So if there's like a Supreme Court, why aren't there like a meat lover's court or cheese lover's court or like a pepperoni lover's court? Um, the word supreme doesn't apply to the courts of their favorite pizza. It's used in a different context. Alright. Well, <coughs> why does those judges like all the vegetables? Like I said before, the word supreme shows the status and respect for the court, not the toppings on your pizza. Alright, for real. So, let's move it along. Uh, what is this honor code thing? The honor code is basically a set of rules and guidelines you agree to follow as a BYU student. I, but like, I ain't a BYU student, so I don't have to follow those, with all respect, crap rules. Does the honor code, like censor or whatever, the freedom of speech, can I say, yo, this honor code thing is crap? Well, yes, the honor code allows you to have your opinion and, you, and allows you to say it freely. All right, so like, what is censorship? Well, censorship is the author authoritarian control of speech and other forms of human expression. Okay, so is that right to censor things? In the 1919 Supreme Court decision in Shank versus U.S., Oliver Wendell Holmes, the Supreme Court Justice, stated that a restriction is legitimate only if the speech in question poses a clear and present danger. In other words, a risk or threat to safety or other public interest that is serious and imminent. Alright, so why does they sometimes like censor a TV show like 
Jerry Springer. Like, that ain't clear or present or dangerous to anybody, in it? No, but it could be offensive, and that's why they censor it. All right, so does you think that free speech or whatever should be censored or, like, controlled in the environment of a workplace? Like, because this one time, me was working at McDonald's, and this other worker came in who was a dude, and he was a mime, and, like, he was doing all these weird things with his hands or whatever, and that was very offensive to me. Is that right or wrong? Um, well, normally a business, or a McDonald's case, a franchise, it has its own rules and guidelines and ethics that its workers have to follow. And Real. if this mine wasn't following those guidelines, then he would probably be fired. Well, yo, I definitely think he should have been fired. But does you think and agree with me that all mines shouldn't have jobs? Uh, I don't know if I agree that all mines shouldn't have jobs. Just because this one mine was being rude doesn't mean that it should put all the rest of the mines out of work. Well, I think that it should. I think that there sh they should go as far to make a law saying, yo, none of these mines can work. I'll work on that. Yo, so all you lot out there, listen up to the words of these two U of U students. They is well smart. They know what they is talking about. We was talking about the freedom of speech. It's well important. Respect.